Hey guys, you want to know why there's been such a delay since the last episode of Ark Survival Evolved? I have been searching for one of these. A level 150 male Megatherium. Okay, now what that means is we should be able to start breeding it with the female that we've already got. So guys, my name is Python. Welcome back to another episode here of Ark Survival Evolved. I do hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Yes, Terraria 1.4 is now officially out, but... It doesn't mean that we're going to stop playing. Oh, God, oh my God. we got to be careful here, broski. Right. I guess the best thing to do would be to try and perch ourselves on a rock, maybe. Pretty, yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, you can still get up here. Uh, if I can find, like, a nice high rock to perch myself. Ah, here we go. This might do the job. Oh, he's gone back to being okay. Oh, he's chill. Oh, he's totally chill about everything now. All right. Boom. There you go. Let's reload. Come on. Ah! ah, god damn it. See, the thing is, the animation, the reload animation completes, right? But the ammo count doesn't go back up. There's like a good second's worth of delay. And it's kind of annoying. Right. Oh, goodness me. Okay, can I perch myself in here? I'd love to be able to. Come on, any second now. This guy has got to be close. Level 150. Come on, my dude. Come on. Hey, ya! Oh, I missed him again. Oh, my aiming is trash. But yeah, that got him. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, amazing. Right, how fast does your unconscious meter go down? It's fairly slow. Right. We need some prime meat, ladies and gentlemen. So let's get some. All right, guys. I mean, to be honest, the only problem we have is I don't actually have any cryopods left. So that kind of sucks. And the reason why I don't have any cryopods left, ladies and gentlemen, is because also since the last episode, I have been hunting around for a higher level Eutyroness. And ladies and gentlemen, be introduced to Yasmin. This gal was level 145, female once again. And with timing effectiveness, she is level 217. Now, in relation to this, I wanted to go ahead and do the comment of the day. Eli Leary says, Python, you should have only leveled stamina on your Eutyroness. You won't be attacking with it and the Courage Roar uses a ton of stamina. Uh, and that's another reason why I wanted to go ahead and, uh, you know, cure myself or tame myself a another Eutyrinus. Maybe we could go ahead and just do uh, stamina on this gal. And yeah, this gal is also a gal. Um, so, I don't know, man. We could maybe try and get ourselves a, a high-level male Eutyrinus and then we've got a good breeding pair. That could be pretty awesome. Ooh, nice. Okay. So, three more bits of uh, raw prime meat here, and this Megatherium is ready. Oh, God. Please don't come over here. You need to die, sir. Come up. I'm going to kill you. Yeah. 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 And you're done. I am not about to have a Spino take my dudes out of the game, okay? It's just a big fat no-no. Same with you. Goodbye. Level 15. What a joke. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I wanted to mention, by the way, uh, some of you guys may have noticed the cryo sickness was still on. Now, some of you guys were saying that apparently if you turn on PvE mode in single player, it will apparently go ahead and disable uh, the cryo sickness debuff. But I found that not to be the case. I have PvE enabled on this, uh, you know, local server, whatever you want to call it. And uh, yeah, we still seem to have the cryo sickness, which kind of sucks. So I don't know, maybe you guys, uh, maybe some of you more advanced peeps out there can let me know like a, a proper good method to do it maybe there's something i need to add to the config line or something but uh, yeah we've got matt here level 224 which is absolutely beautiful i am so happy to finally have a uh, a max level megatherium and now ladies and gentlemen we have ourselves a good breeding pair ah gotta love the process of regenerating your dino's health apparently my uh, utyrinus here only had like 10k health when uh, when she came out of a cryopod so yeah, I just had to do a little bit of a rampage, and now I'm shoving meat down her throat. Wait, that sounds wrong. <laughs> oh, the process is a long one, my friends. I mean, with mods, you could probably like, just bulky all of the uh, meat. And uh, to be honest with you guys, uh, I have been considering going ahead and maybe using some uh, little quality of life mods uh, in future ARC series. Like, for example, the next one after this is, of course, going to be the center. And uh, I want you guys to let me know on the poll on screen right now, uh, would you guys be okay with me going ahead and uh, using some quality of life mods on there? Because if so, then I'll go ahead and put them on. If not, then do you know what? That's totally 
totally fine. I mean, if you if you want me to keep it totally vanilla, again, that's totally fine. There's a bunch of raptors down here, and they're all going to die. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, you got a lot of health, huh? You're a high level, buddy. Boom. Oh, 120. Wow, this guy just got freaking shot across the world. Ooh. Wow. So there is a cave entrance here. I can't remember. I don't think we've done this one, have we? I'm pretty sure this is the final cave to do uh, before we take on the brood mother, right? Probably be a good idea to get ourselves some more food before we go inside the cave, though. So I've got myself a couple campfires here. Just going to, like, chuck them down here. There we go. And who's got all of the meat? I think this guy's got all of the meat. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so uh, the more the better. Got ourselves a whole bunch of wood on the go. So I think we should just about be okay to uh, get some foodie doodles. Okay, fantastic. Also, it appears that the cryo sickness is about to wear off. So that is very cool. Okay, so let's go ahead and put that away. And we're getting Molly out here because she's the one who has the saddle as far as I know. Okay, right. So you got yourself a... Oh, wow, you got yourself a bunch of levels up there. Boop, 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 boop. There we go. That's all I'm looking for, though. So, I'm sorry, buddy, but you are going straight back inside of your pod. <laughs> I just wanted your saddle, buddy. I'm sorry. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> <laughs> hey, have you guys ever noticed that the Megatherium saddle kind of makes it look like the Megatherium was wearing a diaper? <laughs> oh, look, he's a little baby. Oh, he's so adorable with your little nappy. Oh, God, I'm so dumb. It's the simple things in life, ladies and gentlemen. I keep telling you, man, it's the simple things in life that make me happy. All right, so, Alan and Yami, you need to stay out here. And I'm assuming that uh, that Matt here should be able to fit inside here. I really hope so, because if not, I'm going to be real sad. Oh, no, I think we're okay. Holy crappers. Oh, oh, oh. Hang on. Hang on. Oh, no. Oh, no, I think he's stuck. No! You're kidding. You are actually kidding, right? I can't believe that. Oh, God. What the? Okay. Can I get out? Oh, Jesus. Dude, you can't be serious, man. If I took the Megatherium in there, I would have been able to rank him up like a freaking butt ton, dude. So I can get past this little... Eh, kind of this little bit. Okay. And then I can get around the corner here. Uh, that doesn't seem to go, huh? Dude. That sucks. Is there like a special thing I could do? No. Oh, I'm so sad, bro. God damn it. <laughs> Ooh. I'm not 100% sure that I'll be able to do this by myself, ladies and gentlemen. It's not very often I do a, a dino cave journey. Ooh. Okay. Well, there's an explorer note down here. To be honest, it's pretty useless to us. But I'll still get it. Why not? Right. Now the fun begins. Oh, wait. I heard an Onik. Oh, there he is. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, God, that's terrifying. Okay. Well, uh, yeah, this is great. Yeah. Oh, I've got mega rabies. Ah! Oh, this was not a good idea. I immediately regret this decision. My decision was a bad one! Ah, son of a... Oh, God! And I'm nearly dead. Okay, well, uh... Was that worth it? No, I'm getting out of here. Screw this, dude. Screw this. I'm pretty damn sure I'm gonna die, though, here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where the hell am I? I wanna get out. I don't wanna continue exploring. I wanna get the hell out. My health is draining, bro. Am I lost? I think I might be lost. I'm in serious trouble. Dude, how do I get out of here? I'm assuming this is the way out, yeah? No? Uh-oh. Oh, God. I'm so freaking dead, bro. I'm so dead. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I'm injured. I can't do nothing. Yeah, this is the end, ladies and gents. Well, there we go. Uh, I tried to do a dino cave journey. And unfortunately, the creatures of the cave disagreed. So, goodbye. <laughs> God damn it. All right, we're going to have to use a Tyranodon to get back over here or something. Uh, oh, actually, I could probably just respawn here at one of my outposts. Ah, smart thinking. 
actually, that really wasn't smart thinking now that I come to think of it. I should have come here to get uh, Terry, one of our other Tyranodons here, huh? Ah, oh, man, we're going to wind up with a freaking ton of dinos coming back, huh? Ah! Uh, oh, I wish I had a second Argentavis. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, where's Super Bob? I could just take Super Bob, actually. Then I could take down the cave and also get my dinos back. All right, Super Bob, it has been a while, huh? It's been a freaking minute, bro. Dude. Are we about to do this? I think we're about to do this, guys. All right, now we need to, like, go on a freaking journey. Uh-huh. Dude, Bob is so quick now. Super Bob is so freaking quick. God damn. 154% movement speed. Yeah, I, uh, I ranked up this guy's movement speed quite a lot. And it can, it really shows, doesn't it? You're so fast. I love it. Uh, we should be back at that cave in no time, guys. Super Bob. 988 damage. Yeah, this shouldn't take too long, right? Boom. 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 25 damage. What an embarrassment. Huh, that was easy. All right, well, I might as well take this bit of armor. I mean, it's better than nothing, right? <laughs> Fantastic. Well, that just isn't fair, bro. Please kill them all. I hate, I hate those guys so much. Can I, like, get on, get back on this guy? Holy crappers. I've got, like, no health left. Those freaking micro raptor buttheads. What a bunch of poos. Oh, we're finally back, ladies and gentlemen. My small army of dinos is, uh, is right here. Now then. We're going to go take out this freaking cave and every single butthead who ever wronged me. Okay, so let's get down here. Oh, oh my body's right here. Okay. Coolio. So we were actually kind of on the way out. Uh-huh. All right. Boop. Yeah, we got our stuff, baby. Oh, dang. All right, well, let's put our armor back on, huh? And ladies and gentlemen, we're about to freaking storm this cave. We have Super Bob here, and you know what that means. You know what that means, ladies and gents. We are absolutely going to ruin these kids. <laughs> Come on, then! Who wants to go, huh? Well, okay, so I've literally just been exploring for about 20 seconds and I've already found the artifact. Okay, coolio. Good to know. Also good to know that I could literally just one-shot a whole bunch of these guys. Brilliant. Dead, dead, dead. Everybody's dead. Everybody's just dead. Perish. Die a horrible death. Give me that. Thank you very much. Oh, Aranio, you'll love to see it. I mean, no, I don't actually. I freaking hate spiders. Spiders are the worst. Right, uh, oh god. Oh god, I can't see. Can I, like, get out of here, please? Thanks, appreciate it. Right, let me just, uh, uh let me just hop off. And let's grab this bad boy. What is this? The artifact of the clever. Yes, it was clever of me to bring this guy down here, huh? <laughs> Right, I mean, is there anything else to really explore in here? I mean, I might just go and just kill everything here. Um, but, I don't know, there might be like a, a crate somewhere. There might be all manner of things. I have no idea, man. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Uh, that, that, don't worry. Oh, don't worry about it. There, there's only an army of about 30 piranhas. I wish I could say I was exaggerating as well, but uh, I don't think I'm that far off. <laughs> Uh, but the reason I'm down here is because I did see a uh, green crate down there, right? Might be an idea to uh, give it a little, uh, give it a little open. I wish I could get. Yeah, there we go. All right, boom. Let's grab it. What you got? Oh wow, an ascendant hatchet. <laughs> an ascendant hatchet blueprint. What? Okay, what else do we get? Uh, ascendant cloth pants. Whoa! God damn. That's incredible. I think that's the first time I've ever had an Ascendant Hatchet. <laughs> Brilliant. Well, to be honest with you guys, there isn't really much to this cave, so I think that we would be pretty safe in just scarpering from this place. Yeah, doesn't seem to be much going on, huh? Oh, hello. Hello, hello. Who wants to go? There's another Onyx somewhere. Yeah! Oh, well, hang on. This guy's got a little bit more health, huh? Level 135. I'd love to try and tame an Onik again. I think I've done it once before, but then it, like, immediately died because I'm stupid. Um, <laughs> so, I don't know. We could. We could try it again. Aha! Here we are. I mean, that's probably the easiest cave on the whole of the island. 
Uh, so, you know, there's not really too much to say about it, to be honest with you. Uh, we do have ourselves a cryopod, and we are going to cryopod Matt. Okay, goodbye, buddy. Go on. Go on. Off you go. What we'll probably wind up doing... Wait, do I have another one? Damn it, I don't. All right, let's put Rob the Chibi back on as well. Damn it, dude. I was kind of hoping that uh, what I would be able to do is uh, carry Super Bob back and then uh, be able to ride Yammy, but I just realized that's not really going to happen. So let's have you on follow. Let's have you on follow and let's have you come with us. We are heading back to the Green Obelisk and hopefully not going to die this time, huh? And ladies and gentlemen, here we are back at the Green Obelisk. Mission success. We've gotten ourselves the final of the Broodmother artifacts, ladies and gentlemen. And we have ourselves a whole bunch of epic stuff that we could do now. We could go ahead and breed ourselves up a few Megatherium. I think that'll probably be the, the first port of call. Uh, and of course, we've got the... Oh, what? Oh, god damn it. I think the uh, I think the Utahian has just fell down. Lol. <laughs> he fell over. All right, well, we need to go get him, huh? Because... Oh, God! I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh, never mind. I'm not dead. Okay! Woohoo! Oh, my goodness. Ugh. Won't you please go away, you son of a gun? Ah, <sighs> jeez. I honestly thought I was going to die from that fall, but uh, apparently not, man. Apparently not. We totally fine around here. All right, Yasmin. We need to get you to your proper place here. And then, uh, maybe we can build a small breedery for the Megatheriums. Alrighty, guys. We have the ability to make ourselves a couple more cryopods here, which is absolutely fantastic. Because one of my... Well, I say one of my... My Argentavis has gotten stuck inside of the mobile base again. <sighs> that damn guy. He keeps getting trapped in there. He's such a dumbo, dude. What can I tell you, man? Uh, and then I'm probably going to go ahead and uh, package up Super Bob as well. Uh, because, I don't know, I feel like it'd be a nice idea to have him with us uh, no matter where we are. Uh, he seems to be probably the best dude uh, in terms of, you know, taking down cave systems. So that's pretty epic. But, uh, yeah. I, I don't I honestly don't know how this keeps happening it, like I just walk away sometimes I come back and it's like oh hey he's inside the house now he's, he's claimed the freaking place as his own what a jerk <laughs> oh, all right well there we go ladies and gents okay so we haven't done too bad there we've got ourselves a nice high level megatherium and now we have the ability to breed the megatherium so we can get a small army ready for the brood mother so in terms of the breakdown in terms of uh, you know what we're going to be taking into the brood mother fight what i was thinking is one new tyrannus you know our nice high level one uh so not yami but yasmin uh, we need to rank up her stamina a whole bunch right i was thinking of taking seven megatheriums and then that that leaves what 12 spots remaining and then those 12 spots will be uh, reserved for high level tech rexes okay so 12 tech rexes seven megatherium one utyranus that is going to be my loadout for this uh, brood mother fight which we are hopefully going to be undertaking within the next few episodes guys it's going to be freaking freaking awesome i feel like we're going to be so much better prepared this time dude it's going to be so awesome. I'm so looking forward to it. Uh, but for now, my friends, I guess we're going to need to get ourselves some resources together uh, so we can get ourselves a little breedery up and going, right? So, where's our Megatheriums? There's one of them. There's Matt. And then Molly. Molly and Matt. There we go. Uh, so let's go ahead and put all of our resources away. Let's try and get ourselves some building stuffs on the go. And I guess then... Oh, goodness me. I guess then we'll go ahead and start figuring a whole bunch of stuff out, huh? Alrighty, guys. Well, let's go ahead and uncryopod uh, Matt here. And then eventually we're going to also uncryopod uh, Molly, of course. So in the meantime, guys, what we're going to wind up doing is just making ourselves like a nice basic platform area uh, where the Mega Theory can reside for a bit uh, while we breed them up, I guess. So, yeah, I mean, shouldn't be too difficult. We're just going to have like a, uh, like a nice sort of 4x4 four four area, I was thinking. Uh, so, that's 3, 4, okay. Let's have ourselves another row here. Should be nice and simple. Oh, oh crud. I don't mean to do that. Well, pick it up. There we go. All right. Boom, boom, and boom. Okay. Looking pretty good. I mean, to be honest, we don't really need to go too much further than thatch in terms of the materials we need. Uh, so, I mean, to be honest, I'm pretty happy with it. We're going to make this into like a, a double tall fence. Ca Damn it! A uh, double tall fence kind of dealio. I kind of hate that. That's really annoying. Oh, well. Doesn't matter. Boop, 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 boop. Place them all in. 
There we go. We will have a roof to this thing as well. So I'm hoping uh, that it will count as, you know, in air quotes, a home. Uh, so it will shelter them from the elements, I guess. Uh, can I go ahead and place these on top? Uh, oh, crumbs. You can't. Ah, oh, dude, what a bunch of crap. Well, that's, uh, that's a whole bunch of materials wasted, huh? Ugh. Well, I had the intention of going ahead and putting a roof on this thing, but uh, maybe, maybe not. Maybe not. <laughs> God damn it! Unless I replace all of these with walls, which, to be honest, I'm kind of tempted to do so. Holy moly, there's a baby Megatherium here already. Level 194. Huh, as a starter, that's actually not that bad. Uh, so in terms of what we're looking for, I mean, I guess what we just need to look for is like the best combined stat. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have uh, ranked these guys up because then I'd know their base stats, huh? Uh-huh. I'll tell you what, I think maybe a nice baseline goal is to go for level 200s first, okay? I think level 200s would be a good way to go, and then uh, once we figure out what else is going on, then, yeah, we should all be good, right? Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, kick that little baby's butt! hey yeah hey yeah What? 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 Why can't I hit it? Dude, this baby's invulnerable. I can't hit it. What the hell? Dude. Die, damn it. Come on. What? What? Uh, I'm kind of confused right now. Oh, I understand. There we go. Uh-huh. Coolio. Right, uh, let's go ahead and have both of you follow me. Okay, we're going to go inside of this brand new area specifically for you two. And then you can have a nice little bit of privacy. You know what I'm saying? Uh, diaper boy, can you get out of the way? I'll tell you what, let's just get you, like, in this corner or something. Right. Okay, okay. We park you up in the corner like a freaking car. Okay, we grab this off of you. And then we ride this gallon. And then, yeah, they've got themselves a nice little area. Uh, maybe you can go on the other end. And then it kind of looks like you're kissing, like some sort of romantic movie. Ha ha! Ha ha! Megatherium! The movie! Dun, 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 dun. I don't know what I'm trying to do. All right, boom. Dunzo. Everything's good. Right, breed. Do do your thing. I'm going to leave you be, okay? <laughs> Uh, well, not done too bad today, my friends. We've got a Megatherium breedery. We've got ourselves uh, a nice high-level Utyrinus inside of the cryo fridge as well. Everything is looking good. In the next episode, we're hopefully going to do our final preparations in terms of the breed mother. And then, yeah, shortly, guys, we'll be hopefully taking on the breed mother. And I'm hoping that we'll come out with a big, fat success this time. Oh, yes. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to wrap it up for today's episode. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate all your support and especially all your patience lately. Like I say, you know, Terraria is well and truly back on track on this channel. But don't worry. It doesn't mean the arc is going away. I mean, hey, we've still got an episode today, huh? Yeah? Everything's good, baby. But yeah, guys, if you've enjoyed it, a like rating goes a long way. It truly, truly does. Hit the subscribe button and don't forget to ding that bell if you guys haven't already so you don't miss out on future content. But for now, my friends, thank you guys so much for watching. Do have yourselves a fantastic rest of your day, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.